some amazing um, mausoleums here in Highgrid and this is just one of them that I'll show you this is gold hammer is the family name on this mausoleum very impressive doors on this one the big old handles some symbols on it there of fruit So we'll go up the steps of the cemetery and have a look. These are the steps that take you up to the, this beautiful cemetery here in Highgate, London. Remarkable cemetery. And this is another mausoleum as you enter the top of the stairs. And just on the side there it says in remembrance of Flora, beloved wife of Major Lajos de Jankovic, who died in 1909, age 37. So there is a better view guys of as you come in the chapel area there at Highgate as I was saying is where the funeral service was held for George Michael and many other people and it's a, a fine structure of a building very old and Highgate was opened I think in the 1800s Now this is the west this is the west area of Highgate just across the road you will have the east section of Highgate in sacred memory of Thomas Lytton a faithful loving and beloved husband and father Born in London in 1806 and died in 1873. Look at that angel, I don't know if you can see with the light of those trees. That's a spectacular look at angel. So we continue here we have more angels angels here David 
Wellesley Bell DL the devoted and dearly loved husband of Caroline Sophia Bell who entered into rest 19 or 2 age 56 years old and that's a beautiful statue another angel holding a wreath of flowers and here we have this lovely big grave site we see the swords on this sacred to the memory of Lieutenant General the Right Honourable Sir Henry Knight Storks Colonel of HM 70th Regiment was born in 1811 and died in 1874 more elaborate final resting places here in Highgate and there's a really big one at the back there you can see as well some of them are very hard to get inside the areas because there's a lot of overgrowth Now this is a family vault here. The family tomb of General Sir Loftus Otway. So that's the family of the Artway family, who was a famous general. And I'll just show you the, the size of the vault and how big it is. And that's all the area of the vault, the Otway family. All this area here is connected to that vault. Or Now here we have the grave of Alexander Litvinenko who was born in December 1962 and died in November 2006, the 23rd of November 2006. And uh, Alexander here was um, poisoned here in London by Putin's Putin's people, his men. Alexander was a former Russian spy, a government critic. In 2001 he left Russia and settled in England, which granted him political asylum. He worked as an author and lecturer and was a frequent critic of Russia's Putin government. In early 2006, Litvinenko fell seriously ill while investigating the slaying of investigative journalist Anna 
Paulette Koskaya, who had also been critical of Putin. He died of heart failure in London's University College Hospital. Before his death, he claimed he had been poisoned and dictated a statement blaming Russian President Vladimir Putin. Some amazing monuments here in Highgate. The family grave of Sir Herbert H. Bartlett, Bart. Was born in 1875 and died in 1917. And look at this area here, it's just gorgeous with those trees coming over those vaults. In loving memory of Charlotte, the wife of John Bashel. Bashel was born in 1802 and died in 1871. A beautiful vault and an urn on top. But all the trees are coming over. Peter Bodkin, Esquire, who died in 1829, aged 74 years old. So just here guys is the, it's called the Egyptian style entrance into Highgate Cemetery and it's just spectacular to look at. And uh, a lot of famous films or movies were made here. Um, Dracula movie was made here and I think there was a part in the, I think it was at Michael Lee was the actor's name who played Dracula. It was a part where he came out of the the arch here in the movie. If I can find that, I'll put it in. So that's the entrance of the Highgate Cemetery there, the Egyptian-themed entrance. And isn't it just gorgeous? Really, really nice. So as you enter then you have all these vaults here. And all the vines just hanging down over the vaults here. Quite spectacular. Family vault of John Beadnell, Esquire, late of Tottenham, Middlesex. So this is called the circle here. There's an inner circle and outer circle of vaults. So it'll just give you the, you know, imagine how big the cemetery is with all these fine vaults here.
Now I have been to another area there of the catacombs. So I will have that in on the video as well. Now this vault here is a well-known woman, Radcliffe Hall, who was an author. And just here we have a columbarium where ashes are interred. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see there. There's some urns in there and stuff where the ashes are kept. And you can see some down at the bottom. There as well where they're kept on. All these are ashes in here from people interred. So guys, I want to take you up here and show you some amazing monuments and there's one up here I want to show you that has a line on the monument now this grave here is very, very well known and visited in Highgate Cemetery. George Wom Womwell, Menergist, born in December 1777 and he died on the 16th of November 1850. So George Womwell was a travelling British menagerie exhibitor. He purchased two boa constrictor snakes from a sailor at the docks for 70 guineas. He travelled around London to all the inns with the two snakes and people would pay him a penny to view the reptiles. His success encouraged him to build up what became the largest travelling menagerie in Britain. He travelled the length and breadth of the country and had a variety of animals including lions, zebras and even a rhino. In Victorian England had never seen an exotic animal before. One less savoury part of George's show was an exhibition of lion baiting. A lion would be put in a cage and dogs would be set on it for the amusement of the local population. Unfortunately for George, his lion Nero refused to have anything to do with this, preferring to lie around and do nothing instead. George therefore had to buy another lion called Wallace to do the fighting. When he died, an extremely rich man, it was a statue of Nero which was placed on his grave here in Highgate Cemetery today. So, there is a mausoleum I want to show you. Um, on the tour I didn't show it because I said I would do it myself. And I just find it's much easier to do your own video, you know, on a tour. The press tour guide speaks a lot and stuff like that about the area, but you don't really get the chance to video. So I came back to do 
some of my own video. And the cemetery I think is closing soon. They close at 5 p.m. I believe so we kind of ran out of time today but we might come back before we leave to go back to Ireland and maybe see more because you do really need a lot of time. Now this one is very, very nice. In loving memory of Kathleen Maud Carter, wife of Brigadier General C.H. Carter and daughter of James Francis and Ellen Hartley, who died in 1922, aged 45 years old. Also of Ellen Hartley, widow of James, who died in 1926. And here we have the Egyptian themed mausoleum. And the Egyptian style mausoleums back in the day were a very, very big thing with people. A lot of people wanted to have their final resting places in the Egyptian style. This one is just a fine example here. This mausoleum really is nice. And you have the big urn on top of this one. Fine eagle here. I can't see any inscription on that, but it's an eagle with a ball underneath his claw. So, this will give you an example here now. I'll just show you of the area and the size. So at the back here we have a, a mausoleum that I go over and show you there now. And uh, there's the circle of vaults in Highgate here. So it's really beautiful and the layout is spectacular. So we'll take, we'll take you around show you some more of these elaborate final resting places here in Highgate Cemetery in London. Frederick Ibbotson Esquire it says here was born in 1819 fell asleep in 1894 you can see the bust there of Frederick. Fine marble headstone. Ibbotson. Another fine mausoleum here, and it looks like Shellsmore is the name of this family one. You can't see in through that one, unfortunately. Now the fam are the. There's family vaults all around here, so where we were today is um, the catacombs, which is the underground crypt. And there's a lot of coffins in there. And 
that's the entrance inside there of the catacombs. to the beginning and look at two very early ones. So bearing in mind this is an original feature, so it was opened uh, when the cemetery opened in 1839. Well this couple got, on, got in pretty early and bagged a good place by the door um, because this is, from, this is from 1843 um, and that's when uh, uh, the husband died and then Five years later, the wife died, um, 1848. Now you can see that those are not in particular good condition, but of course we don't know when the glass went for these, but they, but they do look very, very old. Right, so, so I did say 14, and I, uh, it turns out that I, I miscounted it would be 13 for a month. Oh, it's the first one out. Yeah. Okay. Did you go see the Now this fine mausoleum here in front of me is the mausoleum of Julius Beer and the name Beer, he didn't found any beer or anything like that because that's what I thought when I seen it first but Julius Beer was uh, involved in the financial side of things in life and uh, his mausoleum was built just spectacularly built and the detail that's gone inside it. This inside the mausoleum, you can see the doors here, you have two lines, heads. And I don't know if it'll pick up or not inside. It might be hard to see. I might have to take the gimbal. And the phone. To disconnect those. And see, can I have a better look inside? I 
and just inside you can see now there is a picture of inside of the mausoleum there is photos of the inside and uh, there's a monument inside the mausoleum where he's buried there with his daughter his daughter died very young so he had the mausoleum built for them to be interred in there So this is the stairs where we came up from the circle of the vaults. So we're going to go back out the way we came in. Now just as the entrance where you come in, the Egyptian style entrance there, the tourist, the tour guide was telling us that just at that entrance there, there's a part in the movie of Dracula where he comes out from there in the movie. I think it's Michael Lee played Dracula. And uh, there's a part there. Now there's also movies um another movie that was filmed here as well was uh i think it was was it the fantastic mr beast with johnny depp i think was in that um was also filmed here as well in highgate cemetery so this is um the, the way back out and just look at those trees, a blanket of trees that are grown over the Egyptian style entrance into the cemetery here in Highgate. Fox in Highgate Cemetery. He's just standing there, sitting there looking at me. Hopefully, I can show you a bit better. So guys, I think I will leave it at that because the cemetery will be closing soon and uh, unfortunately we didn't get much time today. Now I have done some video footage from the east side of the cemetery. So I have some footage of there as well. And as I was saying, if we get a chance to come back here again, we will come back here we're hoping to come back here sometime this summer if we can again and uh, do some more video in here but it was a highlight for me today to come here to Highgate Cemetery in London especially to see George Michael's final resting place and um, other notable people and all these monuments that are here in Highgate it's a spectacular and amazing cemetery and uh, I would recommend this cemetery to anybody who's into you know monuments and cemetery art and stuff like that to, to definitely come here to London to see what Highgate Cemetery has to offer 
it's amazing the people are very friendly here um very um accommodating and stuff like that as well you know and helpful and thank you to the tour guide who brought us around today and showed us the cemetery as well bill thank you for the lovely tour so guys i will leave it at that and i'm going to say thank you for watching the video if you like the video subscribe hit the notification bell and hit the thumbs up and uh, i'll see you all on the next video again so for me grave visitations thank you for watching the video and i'll catch you all on the next one guys god bless and take care